We're talking about giving back and caregiving this morning, and Scott Wiegand asked of AARP Kentucky certainly knows about both. But Scott, before we talk about that and the mission and how caregiving is integrated into that with AARP Kentucky, what is AARP and who is it for? Good morning, everybody. It's good to be with you, Angie. AARP was founded in 1958, and it was started to make sure that as we age, everyone has the resources um, that they need to age well. And that is why Dr. Ethel Percy Andrus, the founder, began AARP. Um, and its social mission has continued today, and that is to make sure that as we all age, um, we have dignity and purpose in that process. And AARP Kentucky is one of the 50 state offices across the country, so we have a nationwide presence, and we deliver information and resources with our volunteers uh, to members and non-members alike across the state. And in Kentucky, we have about 445,000 AARP members. Um, we publish the AARP magazine uh, every month and the AARP bulletin, which is really my favorite. Um, it's a great resource. Uh, it's just one of the many things that AARP membership delivers. Um, so AARP is diverse, um, just like our membership. And we are working routinely um, in the Capitol in Washington, D.C. We fight for advocacy and, and uh, definitely um, all the things that everyone needs at age 50 plus. Absolutely. And do you know what's the average age? I mean, like you said, from age 50 plus, by the way, I'm almost there. I will certainly be joining as a member. That's for sure. But what's your average age? I'm not certain what the average age is, but what we find is that our members want these resources. Um, and it's it's based on the life cycle, if you will, um, where you're at with your family, where you're at in your life, and what do you need at that point, whether you have adult children, whether you're a caregiver, you're in the sandwich genera generation, where you're caring for your, your adult children and your grand and your and your parents. So there's a very diverse range of age within ARP. Membership starts at 50, technically, but you can join. Anybody can join anytime. Come on. Scott, you and I have had this conversation before because one of the things that I have always thought of AARP was just in my head, I'm going to be living it. Is I'm going to be living until I'm no longer living. And that has really always been my impression of what AARP is, regardless of what my circumstances are. So I'm... I'm, you're exactly right. I can join now, but that's something you are trying, no matter how people are in their life, they get the best quality of life regardless. And caregiving is a huge part of AARP. And it has to be, Angie, because what we know is right now today in Kentucky, there's some 640,000 individuals that are delivering some sort of family caregiving for a loved one. Um, typically, what we do know is that typically falls to a female member of the family in her mid to late 40s um, who is taking care of a mother or a father um, or a sibling. Um, so that is, ARP has been working on this, on our caregiving resources a good many years, um, not to put a date on it, but we've got experts and we've got resources um, with research and information and advocacy. And particularly right now during COVID, it's more important than ever that caregivers are getting the information that they need. And what you're going to hear more of about ARP Kentucky is the outreach that we do across Kentucky with our volunteers and online and Zoom meetings and the special uh, caregiving resources that we have for AARP veterans um, ARP members and the public who are veterans. Absolutely. We'll hear from Charles Williams coming up in just a little bit, who will definitely address that. I want to go back to one word that you said, because I know they're so important to you, Scott, volunteers. Volunteers make the world go round in so many ways, and especially at AARP. You know, I'm not going to use the word army, but there is literally across the country nationwide, ARP has volunteers who are doing giving back so much more to their communities. They do tremendous work because why? They care. So we love our volunteers and they do great work. 
Well, we love that you're a part of today's show, the Giving Back Show. We're going to be talking more about caregiving. And like Scott said, we'll talk more with members, volunteers with AARP. But to connect with AARP Kentucky, and they have a host of resources there, visit aarp.org slash KY.